So it starts from here. Gurunath has written, it was April, May 1905. Having been reproached by my parents because I had failed to earn money, I went to the temple of Vanadurga and started to cry, saying, Mother, Mother, and prayed to the deity, a deity for a job. The temple of Vandurga was at Vikrampur, Kathaltoli. It was a dark place, overshadowed by huge banyan and people trees. One day at about 11 o'clock in the morning, as I was drowsily seated with my hands folded in salutation, I saw a nun with a trident in her left hand. She had worn an ochre cloth with a thin red border. She stroked me on my head and my back and said, your job is being arranged for, stop weeping. I had this experience three times. In that very year in the September October, I, had a, I got a petty job, petty job in Dhaka. Later I was transferred to Ranchi. In October 1916, I went to Belurma to witness the worship of Goddess Durga. At that time, I paid a visit to Mother at Kolkata. On Mother's countenance, what I saw was the nun's face, whom I had earlier seen in the temple of Vandurga. I then mentally offered myself at her feet. I held her feet with my hands, placing my head on them, made options. She cast a glance at me, but did not speak. I returned to Rachi, but my mind became restless to see her. In the month of October, November, I chanced to get a return ticket to Havra. Somebody had voluntarily given it to me to avoid it from being wasted. With some petals of hibiscus and rose flowers wrapped in wet scrape of cloth, I left for Kolkata. Within a short while of reaching Mother's house, she sent for me. As I sat down after making options to her, she said, you belong to the group of people who repeat Lord Krishna's name. Prior to this, I often used to I used to often muse, I am a Vaishnava, one who repeats the name of Krishna. If at all mother initiates me with the mantra, who knows which mantra should, she should give. Two years out after this, along with my mother and daughter, I went to see mother from Dhaka. She received them as if they were old acquaintances. She recalled my wife and initiated her. Sorry, she called my wife and initiated her. At the time of parting, she said, always bear, always bear in your mind that I and the Master are always with you. Mahim Chandra Datta said, Mihir Badal was a distant brother of Sharat Maharaj. He chose a mantra to his liking from a book and began to repeat it. After repeat, repeating the mantra for some period, but mother, those with whom I associated, they are all your disciples, my brother disciples. She, she said, what if they are your brother disciples? Should one mix with anybody and everybody? All are not of the same nature. You should stop associating with that particular person, with that person. In my life, I could not, however, stick to her instructions. As a result, I suffered a lot. The mother was in Kolkata and I was dying staying with Raja Maharaj at Basubhavan. Even then I never went to offer my salutations to her, not even for a day. In this way I spent two or three years without seeing her. In spite of having received initiation from her, I felt I was not taking my progress, I was not making any progress in spiritual life. Offended over this matter, I had stopped going to her. Some of the monks asked me the reason for my not going to her. They even entreated me to inform her if I had any specific personal reason. Listening to their words, I penned a long letter in which I opened my heart to her. In the letter, I even prayed to her to take back the mantra she had given me as I was not making any notable progress with it. <clears throat> she then sent for me and counseled, Look, my child. The sun's place is in the sky and water is below here. Does the water have to tell sun? Oh sun, please do raise me up. By its very nature, sun evaporates the water and it raises up. You don't have to do anything. Should, 
Shamacharan Chakravarti said, Wale Prangum, which is Burma, everybody, I used to pranayam, every day I used to do pranayama three times. In each sitting, I used to do it for about an hour. As a result, there was severe setback in my health, and I began to hear a troublesome buzzing noise in my ears. In spite of my efforts, the noise could not be checked. I was then compelled to go to my village on a long leave. <coughs> on feeling a little better, I went to Belarumat. At Mat, I came to know about mother from Baburam Maharaj, and then left for Jarambati. The moment I came in touch with the soul of Jarambati, the trouble, some noise in my eyes disappeared. The moment I approached the topic of yoga before her, she said, do you think you have the fitness of the body or that of the, of the matter, even of the mind, to practice yoga? I asked, is there no way for me then? She replied, I will tell you what to do. She then initiated me and instructed me to repeat the mantra a fixed number of times twice a day. I asked her if I could do three times every day. She said, you are an employee. You have a family to look after. In your case, if, you, if it would suffice if you do it twice every day. When I asked her that I was supposed to do while traveling, when I, when I asked her what was I supposed to do during traveling, she said, it is enough of you to remember God. I was under the impression that after receiving initiation, one should perform worship. I therefore requested mother to teach me the mode of worship. She said, place the articles of worship before the deity and make options or just offer your salutation to the deity. This would amount to worship. I was, however, not satisfied with this simple method of worship told by her. After returning to Belurmat, I asked Babura Maharaj about the mode of worshipping the master. Even he said, place the articles of worship before the master's picture and make options to him. At Jarambati, the mother had told me, the chariot festival is just around the corner. Go to Puri and see Lord Jagannath. When I expressed my unwillingness to go to this new crowded place with my fragile health, she protested. Will you not go and see Lord Jagannath during the chariot festival? I tell you, go. She herself then got a letter written addressing addressed to the manager of Shashi Niketan of Puri. There was not an inch of space available there at that time. Even then, the manager took a trouble and arranged for my comfortable stay at another place when he got the letter. At Puri, I met Babura Maharaj. He instructed me to go to he instructed me to go and embrace Lord Jagannath. On the day of chariot festival, there was no way for the outsiders to cross the barriers of sentinels deployed in every nook and corner of the place. Even then, without any obstruction, I could enter the shrine and embrace Lord Jagannath. 